Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of my beta Minecraft Let's Play. In today's episode, we're going to go and explore these caves. I see, I've seen a couple creepers hanging around down here. So we've got to be a bit careful. But the primary goal is to hopefully get some iron armor sorted. And of course coal. And if we see a few diamonds, that's only an added bonus. Be very careful down here, it's awfully dark. Um, yeah, I see a creeper down there, but I did see a second one somewhere earlier, just before. Oh, there he is. Fortunately for us, they're both uh, stuck where they are. Oh. Just fell down. Just joined his friend in the, in the creeper pit. Okay, I think they're stuck down there. Let's make sure our backs are safe up there. Hey, guys. What's happening? Are we stuck, are we? Oh, it's a giant chasm right in front of me. Gotta be a bit careful. Because I do hear a zombie. Oh, and footsteps this way to another creeper. Hey, buddy. Oh. Well, I am still playing on hard mode. I haven't changed my difficulty just yet. Um. I don't intend to. It's a bit of a hole. Oh! Zombie! There he is. Did you hear that? That was the sound of a creeper dropping. I'm taking some damage. Hmm. Not liking this. Let's see if we can attack this one first. Oh, not with a pork chop, with a sword. Oh, we knocked him into a little hole. Hey, friend. He's gone. Okay. This looks like a nice little work space for us to uh, begin our mining adventures. Plenty of holes down there to explore. But for now, I think we shall set up a little temporary mining post. Complete with furnace. Start getting some of this coal and iron. From the previous video, we've actually got fair few views. I'm surprised. I, I shared it on the Betacraft, so back to beta Discord server, and quite a few people have subscribed from that, and liked and commented and all that good stuff. So, hello, welcome to episode two. That's going to fall, isn't it? Ready? Oh. It's like a reverse 404 challenge. Speaking of 404 challenges, I just tried one today and failed almost instantly on the way down. So that was fun. I may give it another go, hopefully maybe do it under recording. Maybe a bit, a bit more luck with recording, I won't die instantly. Probably still die instantly, let's be honest. Still a zombie uh, making some noise somewhere, but I'll try to get this iron going because I would really appreciate a full iron, a full set of iron armor prior to doing too much caving. Oh, there he is. Here, one more. Is he down here? No. Got another creeper. Hello, friend. Bit trapped. Any gunpowder? Yes. So, I've been thinking a lot recently about the, the future of this channel and where I'd, I'd like to take it. In the immediate future, I do plan on continuing this series for as long as I can realistically without it getting too mundane. There's only so much you can do in beta. As much as I love playing it, it will have to end at some point. And I'm thinking, I've got a few mega projects I want to complete. Giant castle, some railway systems, minecart systems. And I've got some special ideas down the track that I won't spoil just yet. But I think once we achieve those, we'll be right to sort of move on and play different versions of the game. They may include going back and doing a... Oh, did he just blow up my... He blew up the feathers and gunpowder from the other creeper. Oh well versions of Minecraft, so the alpha version. Uh, alpha 1.2.6, I might do a let's play of that. 
That might be a shortened, not a full series. That's well, awfully dark. Let's get some light going first before we start digging. Oh, <laughs> I panic dropped the torch. It's all right. A few zombies around. I wonder, wonder if there is a spawn nearby. That'll be cool. Spawn right off the bat. Yeah, a Minecraft 1.2.6 sort of mini series. I thought that'll be cool. I'm also keen to play through Tech It Classic. That is on an older version of Minecraft. I think it's 1.2.5 post release. But I remember having a lot of fun when Tech It was all the rage back in the day. What is it? 11 years ago? So I'd still call that a classic, a classic game mode. And eventually I'd like to branch off to do different, different games, but for now we'll just stick with some beta Minecraft. Hearing some footsteps above me and it's kind of unnerving. I'm also tossing up in my own head how much editing to do. I'm of the opinion that it's an old school Let's Play series, I'll try to make it as authentic as possible with minimal minimal edits. I will have to do some strip mining eventually just to get enough cobblestone to build the castle and that may require some off-camera work but I don't imagine too many people would be interested in a whole episode of me underground digging a hole or many many holes and many shafts. Speaking of holes, we're on Digging, we're on level 34, so we're not quite diamond level. We've got plenty of iron now, we should have enough for iron armor, but as soon as we do, I'd be keen to delve a bit deeper. See if we can get some diamond. Oh, I missed this earlier, feather. I don't know. Okay, this is a nice. Oh, Spectre Zone. I was going to say, this is a nice spot for us to put a little mining outpost. Extra bit of coal. Got to be careful about turning my back towards these mobs. They sneak up on me. And we'll need a chest just to store some stuff as we go down. All of these items. Cool, there's a few zombies around. I think they're below me. Just below me. We'll get ourselves some iron armor. A chest plate and some leggings. There you go, enough for a helm. Now, I feel a bit more confident going down. And seeing what the commotion's all about. Oh, scary cave noises. I think they're just down here. Ah yes, hello. Shall I make a safe way down for us? Dig a little stairwell. There we go. Oh, just can't reach them. Now I can. Cool. Alright, let's get our boots going. Uh, there should be enough iron ready, and perhaps we'll probably need a bucket as well. Just in case we fall in some lava. Because knowing my luck, that'll be a very real possibility. Two sticks. Give us an extra iron pickaxe. And I envision our sword breaking sometimes. And we can store the rest of our stuff. We don't really need here. Store. Well, we'll keep the coal on us. Cool. Okay, let's head down. See what we can find. Pick up some water. Keep that at the ready. Oh, it just goes down again, doesn't it? Yes. Create a safe way back up. Ah, plenty of iron, look at that. Plenty of iron. 
Oh. And as luck would have it, our first bit of diamond. Right below us. How cool. Um, looks fairly safe. I want to jinx it just in case there's a creeper next to it. Oh, did not mean to fall down. <laughs> I think there is lava below us as well. Okay, we should be safe. How many bits do you think we have here? So far, two, three, maybe four. No, looks like just two pit, two bits of diamond. That's all right. Sorry, three bits. Correction. Three bits. That's a good amount. Oh, lava and redstone. How good. Okay. First bit of diamonds. We've got some redstone going. We'll need a little bit of redstone. I don't think too much. The only redstone-y contraption I will eventually uh, build. Maybe a piston-operated door for a castle entrance. So that may require a bit of redstone. And most likely, most of it will be going towards my powered rail system. My minecart system. Oh, skeleton. Almost just walked right over him. A sneaky spot. He's waiting for me. He's going to give me an ambush. Um, what is this guy? Just stops here, does it? Cool. Yeah, so... It's one of my future projects I'd like to build, a minecart system that connects some sort of mining operation to my castle, or maybe my home, my house, to a castle, we'll see. Don't know how big of a castle I'd like to build, but something of substantial size, something fit for a beta world. One that would warrant a minecart system. You have a castle that you have. You imagine you, if you're sitting it's in your castle's main hall and you're like, you know what I need? I need a minecart system to get around. That's the sort of level, the sort of size I want to aspire to. Plenty of coal. We'll need a lot of coal. Can't get enough of coal in this game. I may even have furnace-powered minecarts. I think they're a thing in this version. I believe so. That's how uh, you're meant to get around in a minecart previous to powered rail. Fun fact, I think in the patch before it got fixed up, but there used to be a thing called powered... Sorry. Booster rail. Booster tracks. And it was a little glitch where you can set up a little track system where one minecart would... Boost. Oh. Oh. Zigzag. Strafe. Under attack. Ouch. Got him. He only did half a heart of damage. Goes to show how powerful the iron armor is. That was a close one. He almost exploded. Oh, a zombie as well. Gold. We found gold. That was my terrible impression of gold member from Austin Powers. Is this thing oh, gold member? I think it is. Um, slide this area up just a little bit. Another zombie coming towards us. More gold up there. Gold will be very useful for our powered minecart system. We can also use it to make a clock. Uh, so we can tell if it's day or night up in the overworld. Let's see, more iron, plenty of iron. If you haven't noticed, the system I'm using to keep track of where I am in this cage is simply placing torches on the left-hand side of the wall. So, oh, creeper. Hello. So when we backtrack our way out, we keep the torches on our right, so we know that's the exit way. And I'll demonstrate that in just one second. So we reach the end of a cave, and to work our way back is just keep the torches on your right and follow the way out. It's a fairly simple 
simple little trick. And then you see torches on your left again. You're like, okay, well, it's not that way, so it must be this way. Torches on the right. And I like to, in big open areas like this, when you need a torch on the right-hand side to light that area up, I'll put torches on the ground. So not to confuse the left and right wall system. That's the, uh, I think I got that from Paul Saws Jr. I think he initially taught me that trick in one of his videos. And it's stuck with me. He was the first and probably only real big Minecraft YouTuber I've ever watched back in the day. Him and probably the Ogscast. I know a lot of people watched Ethos Lab and and Venom and some other classic YouTubers. But it's really just Paul Source Jr. and the Ogscast. I never really ventured out to other YouTubers. In fact, I think Paul's tutorial is the first ever Minecraft Let's Play series on YouTube. And I think it's some Guinness World Record as well. Officially. Which is kind of cool. And I believe Ethos Lab has got the longest running ever Minecraft YouTube series. That's also, I think, the truth. Not too sure. But great feats. I don't think this will ever be the uh, longest running Minecraft series. Maybe if I outlive Etho and everyone else in the world who started before me, then maybe it'll be. Um, I get an idea. To speed up mining some ore, why don't we make ourselves a diamond pickaxe? Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Fantastic. So will be ever so quick of getting this coal. So this episode, as you can already probably tell, will just be me down here in the caves exploring. Um, in the next episode, I do plan on getting some wood together and building a little little house, a little home on a hill somewhere. Nothing too extravagant, just get us a proper base of operations set up. Instead of being in that underground water reservoir. As cool as it is, it's not an ideal spot. And I've got just the design in mind. One thing you'll learn you learn to know about me is I'm not very creative of a person. I'm a very much copy other people's designs and give credit to them. Um, okay, I think we tapped out the caves in this area. Let's track back it just a little bit, maybe cook up some more iron. Um, or should we go this way? What's down here? Friend or foe? So, oh, where are my ability blocks? There they are. Come on, you can get the skeletons closer to you because their power is range. And my power is, oh, that was a good shot. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Two hearts down. I think the pork chop does four hearts of health regen. So probably take another hit or two before we have to eat. Reminding me, actually, of the 404 challenge I just did. I'll probably try it again. I died almost instantly. <laughs> Might try it again and make it into an actual video. Uh, Lapis. Lapis Lazuli. Fe I don't want to be offensive, but fairly useless in this version of the game. The only real use case is blue dye. Unless I'm forgetting something quite obvious. That's all I can really recall. Of course, in later versions of the game, you need Lapis to do enchanting. Which actually gives it some sort of value. Um, okay, lava and water. Got to be careful here. As it can turn sour pretty quickly. We get knocked into some lava. Some iron. Just 
Shall we play extra, extra safe by turning some lava into obsidian? I think we should. I think we should miss the mine. Good, good, good. Make sure nothing's sneaking up behind us. Very well. Oh, okay. Can't dig there. Let me block off this water source here. It's not pushing us around so much. <gasps> gold! You found gold! Two bits of gold. Thank you. What's up here? Some light and some darkness. Oh, okay. We've been to that side. Not down here, though. Not too many mobs spawning on this side. That's interesting. I am still playing on hard difficulty. Coal. Give me more coal. I think in between this episode and the next, I may have to do some strip mining just to get some cobblestone resources. And I think, like I said previously, wouldn't be, wouldn't make for interesting viewing. I wouldn't think so, at least. My God, we're going to be swimming in iron. We're going to have too much iron. It's going to become a problem. Just kidding. It's never going to be a problem. Um, well, that goes down to lava level. Let's see if there's any diamonds sticking out, screaming for us to mine. Let's see any. Let's go back a little bit. I think we're a bit high up for diamond level. Down there might be some more. Oh, did you hear that? Hear some footsteps. I think it's above me. I'm just waiting for a creeper to drop down right on top of me. Wouldn't that be in wouldn't that be funny? Um Okay, this is the other the other side of where we've already been. That's good. Um Should we head back up then? Got some diamonds, we got plenty of iron. Haven't been down here yet. Does this take us down to a lower level? No. Right. Continue back. Just up here should be where we set up our little mining base. Yep. Still clear. Iron has been cooked. Do some more. Store our gold, store some valuables. Um. We'll need some more torches, I believe. Collecting a few bones. I'd really love to find a skeleton spawn down here. That'll be amazing. Ah, good. Oh, creeper. Nope. Oh, did I just kill it? Yes. Singular bit of gold. Yeah, skeleton spawner would be good. I've never actually made a mob grinder in Minecraft, but I'd figure it'd be a swimming zombies up here. Oh, hello. That's um, it's quite the oh. I can set it off. That's interesting. Should I let it blow? That's scary. I can't do. I can't do that. Oh. oh my god! It's creeper pit here. Let's rescue the zombie and then free him. Um. 
Thank God for the water. This just goes back up. Yeah, okay. I'm not really that interested in caves that go up. I'm going to try to get a bit lower. And we've explored all of that. I think... Pretty much good. Oh, zombie. And footsteps here. Another creeper. Hey, buddy. Where did you come from? Up here. Oh, yeah. This... Whoa, close. This cave is full of creepers. Plenty of iron. Okay, I think we've got a lot of resources to work with. Let's not be too greedy. Oops. Hey, sorry. Embarrassing, I just dropped in front of you. Plenty of iron. There is Spider. Not exactly sure where he is at. Hmm. I think we tapped out of cave. A little bit here, but I've got a feeling it's going to close up. This doesn't inspire confidence. No. Oh, this is our switchback staircase we originally built. To get down here. Oop. Okay, well I think that's a good sort of time to head back up. Um. Okay, what don't I need? What do I need to prioritize? Coal, gold, redstone, lapis, feathers, arrows. Good loot. That's pretty much it. All packed up. Let's head back out. Let's head upstairs. Uh, using our glorious switchback staircase. Straight up. How good. Ugh. And it's night time. It's going to be interesting to try to get back to our base. Let's see. I think we left a torch trail in the way here, didn't we? I see a creeper to my left. And a joker to my right. Uh oh. There goes my sword. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. A creeper on my tail. Uh, run! I um, have an extra sword. Don't know where he went. I think I lost him. Oh, spot. Skeleton. <clears throat> Got him. Ah, it's actually quite a nice area. Very lush. And there's our base. Ooh, home sweet home. Oh, home. It's sleep. Start the day anew. Wow, look at that. Inventory full of goodies. Let's make a chest to store all of our valuables. Coal, our iron, our gold. Probably cook up some of this gold. And we've got some iron as well to cook. <laughs> Not very well organized uh, base we got here, but it'll do for now. Very good. Bit of inventory management complete. We'll let our ores cook. It's a brand new day, brand new world. It's a bit cloudy. Just a little bit. Um, thanks for watching today's episode. I do plan on releasing one episode every one to two days. I'm thinking it might be more 
once every two days. But perhaps for the first few episodes, I'll try to pump them out once a day just to get a bit of a backlog going. And then, yeah, next episode we'll, we'll find a spot to put a house on one of these hills. And then we can start working on the castle, minecart systems and everything else we have planned. So until then, thanks for watching. Have a good one.